up, y'all? So, I'm in the process of building up my YouTube with things you guys can use on the daily. That's not that complicated. Very simple things you can do that are like so simple that you would think is weird. Like, so simple that you can use these techniques on your body, on yourself, on your life that, <clears throat> that you will feel like like it can't be this easy. So right now, I'm just laying it out from the beginning. The first things you need to know are how healthy you wanna be. So don't don't take a goal that's like too great. Like if you weigh like 250 pounds and then you're like, oh, I wanna be, you know, 120 pounds by next week. Like that ain't gonna happen. So try to pick a goal that you can achieve within a, a certain time frame. So um, sometimes when you have like these goals that are like really big, it's better to break them down in chunks. So um, as far as the health goes, if you got a certain condition that you wanna work on, you can just focus on that and focus on doing the little things that build up to that. So for me personally, I got this issue where like my ankle cracks every so often. <clears throat> and after looking up some of the uh, remedies and books and suggestions around like the the health space I found some remedies that I can use um, one thing that I can do is reduce my intake of acidic foods so anytime I'm using anything like like fruits and vegetables you don't even have to worry about it eat as much as you want when it comes to other things like like starches or or meats or um, dairy, things like that. Those are the things that I need to watch out for. And I noticed with myself that as long as I choose fruits and vegetables for most of the day and then nibble here and there on like the acidic stuff, then usually my ankle doesn't really crack too, too much or I just forget that it's even an issue. <clears throat> so that's one thing that you can, you can try out. Try to focus on the goal that you are trying to achieve with your health and then start trying to do little things to break it down. So the main thing, watch out what you're eating. That's that's the, <clears throat> that's the most important thing for you, anybody in this world. Watch out what you're eating. Don't just disregard the things you're eating as just oh it tastes good or oh it's it tastes nasty and it's healthy. Like that's not necessarily the way it works. You gotta see how it reacts with your body and what types of signals or um, clues or hints your body is trying to give you when you eat those foods. So for me, if I eat something that's way too hot, it gets snotty nose. If I eat something that's way too salty, I usually knock out like MSG. Like as soon as I eat it, all of a sudden the comatose hits and I wake up an hour later. That's usually how it goes. So um, look out for the signs your body is giving you after you eat certain foods. And then as you start taking on these these hints as, as as like, okay, my body's trying to tell me something, take note of them. And then eventually you'll have a whole list of things that your body doesn't like and a whole list of things that your body does like. And then you'll be able to notice a difference. So just first focus on what you're eating. Make sure you're breaking your goal down as far as your health goes in little chunks and you should be good from there. I'm gonna give you some more tips here and there um hopefully they're not too too wordy hopefully it's not too complicated for you to understand um if you got any questions put them in the comments i'll respond to them as soon as i can and um yeah have a good one